Hello guys, Clown here. In this video I will discuss how to check a diode using a digital multimeter. Now one thing to note here is, make sure you have a diode setting on your multimeter, which is an arrow pointing to a line. Because um, reason being, your regular ohm setting is not a good way to test a diode. Because you wanna, what, what you wanna do is you wanna measure the voltage drop going across that diode. And the way to do that, would be if you have a diode setting or you could do it using hooking up a whole battery into this and you know measuring the voltage that drops from across it but it's a whole, totally different video so make sure you have that voltage the diode setting sorry and your pos your positive lead your red lead goes to your horseshoe shaped terminal and your negative lead goes to the common side of the terminal now when you look at the diode, you're going to see one line. That's your cathode side. That's where the negatives uh, lead goes, or your probe. Yes, I said probe. And where there's no line on your, on your diode, your empty side, that's your anode side, or your positive side. So connect your negative. Actually, before you do that, one thing to do is, is good practice is always to connect the terminals together. You should have zero. That's a good you know, make sure your multimeter works correctly. Cathode, line, negative, anode, no line. And you should have a reading between anywhere from 500 to 900. That's, that's a good diode. Now when you reverse this around, you should have outer limits or an op it should be an open circuit. So that's good. Remember, a diode is a one-way check valve, so it should only have co current flowing one direction. So it's a normal diode. Now if you connect it on this side, and it's uh, less than 500, 400, you know, if it's really low, and the same reading or lower is on this side, or if it's zero on both sides, then you have a shorted diode. It's not good. Or a leaky diode. Um, if both are open, out of limits on both sides, that's also bad. It's an open diode. No good. So, thanks for watching this clown's garage slash electrical uh, videos. And please subscribe. You know you want to. And like me. It's both free to do. Thanks for watching and please come again.